Hey, it's Fancy Nance. I've always had a sense of style, and I want to finish my guest bathroom. So let's DIY today. Come with me now, and let's have some fun. It's DIY with Fancy Nance, career talent agent turned DIY princess. So today we're going to do DIY with Fancy Nance in my guest suite bathroom. Stay tuned. Hi, more DIY with Fancy Nance. So this is my new gold shower curtain for my bathroom. Um, it has, the bathrooms here have um, sliding doors, which are glass. So you don't really need a shower curtain, but I have that fancy pink bombshell Hollywood pink shower curtain in my bathroom so I thought for the guest bathroom I will match all the gold tan colors and try to do something um, a little more practical but still very pretty and if you haven't watched all my other 10 DIY videos on how I did my guest bathroom suite including bathroom hallway and bedroom please watch because then you will catch up and understand what I'm doing in little stages little by little I am um, doing all of this DIY by myself. So the hooks that came with this shower curtain, um, to me, these look inexpensive. I try not to make negative comments, but these look like plastic brown beads. And this is silver metal. So I could spray paint this gold, which I do with everything, or I could shop online and eventually buy gold shower hooks, which I think I looked for months ago and could not find. But I'll bet you if I scour hard enough, I will find gold shower hooks. But for right this second, I am gonna use these because I'd like to hang my shower curtain. So I already put the bar up. I need to make it a little more, um, have some more tension so it doesn't fall. And then I just need to loop these through the shower curtain and hang it in the bathroom. So once I've done that, I wanna come back and show you what I did with my own skills, DIY fancy Nance style. So shower curtain 101, here we come. I always say, be creative, try things outside of the box and mix colors, it's fun. So here's the bar that I hung in my bathroom and I purposely ordered a gold bar because my walls, if you haven't seen, which I've mentioned a zillion times, all of my glitter walls in my bathroom are made of glitter. And yes, I know the shower has metal on it, which is silver, so I call it mixed metals. But look, I didn't and couldn't design the shower to be gold trim. So I gotta work with what I got. So right now, at least I got a gold bar to match my gold walls. And of course, if you haven't seen the video yet on my new red towels, please watch that too. So you can see everything is gold accent in this bathroom and I just love the gold. So I'm gonna work on the shower curtain now. I'm doing the best I can with my DIY. I'm more of a designer than a workman. I don't want that to come out the wrong way, but um, this is as much as I can do to make it stick level. I might need a handy person from the building to help me really seal this into the wall. Um, it's suction and I've done the best job I can for right now. It's not 100% even, but I will just show you how the hanging curtain looks and hopefully it won't fall this evening and it will stay up until I can get a professional in here to do it the right way. I'm more of a creator designer and painter than I am a true carpenter. So forgive me for that. Okay, here we go. So everything I've DIY'd so far has been really pretty and worked out really well and been very luxurious. I will say, this shower curtain is rather cheap, the material. I did not buy a liner for it because I have already non-see-through glass doors and I was using it just for decoration. In my bedroom, I had a shower curtain from Bed Bath & Beyond that's absolutely beyond gorgeous. 
but I was trying to keep this bathroom all in solid color tones. I did buy a shower curtain a while back, which was supposed to be glittery, but it was actually a picture that somebody took of glitter and no one at the company told me. So when I went to return it, they told me to keep it. They didn't care. So it was basically a photo of glitter and um, I just have it stored in a closet. What will I do with this shower curtain? Well, for the time being, I'm going to keep it. But if I must be completely honest with my DIY project, I am going to look for a glitter sparkling gold shower curtain. It may take me forever to find one because I've been looking for months. If anybody has any ideas, please don't hesitate to write me or find me on social media at Fancy Nance. F-A-N-C-I-E-N-A-N-C -E -N -N on Twitter, Instagram, anywhere. But for right now, at least this matches the wall color. It pops with my red towels and uh, I like the metal rod at the top. Um, obviously, I'm not crazy about the hooks with the little beads hanging out. It's a little boho for me. But, um, you know, it's it's kind of a, just a goldish brownish uh, color and I will keep it for when I have guests this weekend for my birthday and then I think I'm going to try to replace it I don't even know if I'm gonna return it I'm just gonna have to see how much I spent I did all this DIY inexpensively so whatever at this point uh, the curtains thank goodness I bought for my guest room are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful so I have not made many DIY fails so far and I'm proud of that, but I had to raise actually the bar because this curtain was way too long dripping on the floor. So I'm gonna end this video and just say, this is kind of a temporary fix. Here's what it looks like with my fan on, which will cause extra noise with the light. Um, you know, it's kind of a brushed gold. It really does match all of my bathroom. I mean, it actually really looks good with the light on. Um, so, I don't know, I'll get some friends' opinions and maybe somebody on YouTube will give me their opinion and I would love something sequined, something really blingy, but if not, I suppose, because it looks like it's so isolated in here, having a shower curtain all the way closed, maybe I should just keep it kind of halfway open maybe that kind of makes it look better so that's my shower curtain at least i hung it myself diy with fancy nance don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram at fancy nance f-a-n-c-i-e-n-a-n-c -E and please subscribe to my youtube channel banter entertainment Thanks for watching today, and as I always say, from Fancy Nance, I'll see you soon.